Snipploma. 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 The Southern Nevada Public Lands Management Act. Snipploma. <laughs> Truly horrible acronym. It's one of the weirdest acronyms, but I love Snipploma. Yeah. This bill fixes the faulty land exchange process. John Ensign was the sponsor of Snipploma at the time, and Senator Reed and Senator Bryan were the Senate champions for getting that legislation through. We'll change the way we do things in the state of Nevada regarding land. Snipploma, as it's lovingly referred to, was the seminal piece of legislation that created the land sale paradigm for the Las Vegas Valley. The concept was, instead of exchanging land, just auction public land to the highest bidder. That way, you bring market forces, and you just put it out in the open, and you auction land. Open this bid at 250000 Open this bid at $11 Have a public auction. And none of this trading business. Now 60. Number 179, the high bidder. It creates a level playing field for everybody. He says he's out. 14 million 200. Close the bid here at 14 million 200 thousand dollars. The money that came from the land would go back into environmentally sensitive things in Nevada. Everything from Lake Tahoe, building parks and trails, restoration projects, to investing in visitor centers parking areas, access that allow people to get into the outdoors. Over its life, Snipoma generated over $3 billion. Dollars. That man's a poker player, I think. In many ways, Snipploma built on the successes of the negotiated settlement on the Truckee River, that you could craft a new deal between a growing urban area and the environment. This is perhaps an example of government at its best. It works, and people don't even notice it. For the first time, it's really connecting Las Vegas with the environment. And for the first time, you're beginning to see how through these investments, Las Vegas is getting woven back into that landscape. <laughs> 